Recently, I'd ranked up to level 1000 in GTA Online. In that time, I've made over $1.2 billion, spent over $740 million, played over 7,000 hours, and killed almost 20,000 players. I've bought every business and property I could, owned around 300 vehicles, all the helicopters and planes I could ever want, and generally act like money is not an issue. So I wondered what it would be like to get rid of all of that wealth and start all over again. This is my journey on how I went from riches to rags. Previously on Riches to Rags. It didn't take long before I was raking in the cash and raking up the RP and shooting up the ranking really quickly. I also managed to spot a celebrity in the form of the UFC star John Jones with another DUI. John Jones then got annoyed at me for watching him crash his car while drunk and then began to attack me with a lamppost after I stole his car, punched him to death, then did what any self respecting social justice warrior would do dump his car into the sea. 1 minute and 38 seconds later, I am $101,000 richer. I could finally get my high end apartment in order to start some heists. The first time I met him had me really confused as I couldn't understand why he'd want to put a coconut flavoured chocolate bar on someone. And if anybody gets particularly fresh, just give me a shout and I can put a bounty on them. I'll contact you, but don't let me down on this. All right, we might be ready to move on this thing. If you want the work, you'll get a knock on your door any minute. I'm now all set to start my first heist. We rejoin the action back on day three. Day three didn't start off that well, as after five hours, I'd realized I had massive sound issues using Elgar 2 with Streamlabs, which then really ruined the experience of getting killed by the traffic after smashing into my helicopter. Beating this random tryhard at darts, collect a hundred action figures and look like this guy, Go on a bounty hunt for Bubba Ray Dudley, Dustin Poirier, the chick from the Fast and the Furious, Charles Bronson, and this hot piece of ass. Most of whom I detained after shooting them in the dick. Go on a treasure hunt which involved reading, stare at a shovel with some red paint on it, stare at an empty box, stare at a naked man before shooting him up the ass, collect a shitty old gun from some dead people. Murder a bunch of innocent people by shooting them in the head for a quarter of a million dollars. And of course, shoot at this guy's porno mags. After delivering all five bounties, it gave me the stone hatchet. In order to be rewarded with another $250,000, I had to complete another task, which was, of course, to murder a load more people. After joining up to the Rockstar Social Club, I can now get the free Nissan R35. I mean, the Anis Energy. But what I was most excited about was finally getting to start my first heist. This is it. What I've got is a Fleesa Bank franchise. And it's nothing too complicated. All right, what are you waiting for? Let's go see this place. Our first task was pretty simple. We had to look at a bank. Take a look. Uh, what are we looking at? Um, small joint, not much security. Then drive somewhere else to get in another car and run Lester over, because it's funny too. The second setup for this heist was pure genius. We had to use my friend's black armoured Karuma to rob some very dangerous criminals of their black armoured Karuma. So we could use the black armoured Karuma to rob a bank. I'll look after this. Lester will come by your place when you're ready to go. Lester clearly didn't recognize me in my amazing disguise as he thought I was losing my heist virginity. Ah, <laughs> you're, uh, your first time. Okay, first time. Like I said, it is your first time, so, uh... But somehow, we did seem to know a lot about my are, actual uh, social life. Wild, insane, mind-blowing orgies, orgies! <laughs> orgies aside, it was time to get down to business. Driller, I'm sending you that hacking program. When you get in the car, you need to get on it and start breaking into their system. I was going to be the driver, and Dio would be my hacker and driller. We both completed the Fleecer Job Elite Challenge together, but seeing as I didn't have a bike fast enough to get to the Karuma, it was unlikely that we'd manage it this time. 
The best thing to do here was to put on my impotent rage mask while driving. Not only would this save a second or two in time, but it would mean that I would be completely unrecognisable when robbing the bank. Unfortunately, I didn't realise that putting on a simple mask would somehow remove my entire disguise and I changed into an outfit that made me look like your alcoholic uncle. But luckily, I did still have my mask on so absolutely no one would recognise me. Drilling complete and bank looted, all that was left for us to do was to get picked up by this giant magnet and take it off into the sunset. On the trip back, I had called Lester to tell him about a large spot I'd discovered on my bum cheek. Yeah, show it to me. Fleece job complete, and I make a total of just over two hundred thousand dollars. Now it was time to meet everyone's favourite psychopath and permanent pervert, Trevor. However, Ron must be a total genius as he saw through my clever disguise immediately. Hey, this is that person! With the cat now out of the bag, I then told Trevor about a spot on my bum cheek. Oh, ow, oh, I'm getting a semi, ah! Uh. Trevor then told me about why his ass was so sore and was upset after recognising me from one of the earlier orgies while he was dressed as a woman. You have been fucking me! Bang, 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 huh? Bang, bang, into the room! I then asked Trevor what he thinks about GTA YouTuber The Professional's videos. I am not fucking interested! Noticing that we both now shared some common ground, Trevor decided to offer me some work. Get to work! A few missions later, and I'd now ranked up to 33, which meant I could finally purchase the AP pistol, which is the best weapon to use when inside the armoured Karuma. You have good taste, I can tell. After trying multiple times to buy the AP pistol, I finally fixed the issue by joining another session. Who knew that buying a gun in America would be so difficult? With the arcades at half price this week, it was the perfect time to buy, but we're still a few pennies short, and what better way than to earn some quick cash than by completing one of the time trials. I asked my friend Dark Eclipse if I could borrow his bike. As usual, he was late, but he does insist on making an impact, this time by jumping out of a jet and splatting on the road in front of me. With that, I now took his free Hakuchu drag One minute and 16 seconds later, I'm now $101,000 richer and I can now afford my arcade. The best location for the arcade, which is also one of the cheapest, is situated at La Mesa. It's the closest arcade to the casino and will save you so much time and effort in the long run. Now being on a tight budget, I skipped all the unnecessary upgrades and just added on a 10 car garage. Purchase successful, I'm now off to check out my new way to make bundles of cash. Michael's fat bastard son Jimmy was hired by Lester despite never even consulting me, you know, the new owner of the property. Jimmy, being the annoying dumbass that he is, couldn't understand why he had to start sweeping up as a form of exercise in order to lose free stone by the end of the year, before I was surprisingly interrupted by another fatty. Jimmy, everyone has to start somewhere. I know, I know. This is not how privilege is supposed to work. Now this laptop will tell you everything you need to do. Why don't we, uh... Hear our fortune, hmm? <laughs> the odds are in your favor when you cheat. <laughs> Little something I put together right here is where we will put the planning boards. Everything we need to design the most complex robbery this city has ever seen. <laughs> Hello? After being rudely interrupted by some Asian bitch, we got talking and I invited her and Lester along to one of my next orgies. Uh, Sure. Come back to my hotel. The rich men. We'll get some food and discuss it all. 
Um, sure thing. I'll, uh, it's, it's, it's a date. <laughs> a, an appointment. You're so funny. Good work. This place will be perfect. Let's go. So don't forget to like and subscribe to find out how the orgy went and how I took on my first casino heist in the next episode of Riches to Rags.